All right, guys, we're doing vintage Jerry Lee Lewis today. Lucky old son. Let's take a listen. All right, guys, do yourself a favor and look this up on YouTube. It's Lucky Old Son, Jerry Lee Lewis, not the movie version, but actually Jerry Lee playing. It's so cool. It's got that old country blues style that he, he mixed so well. All the tremolos, all the right hand blues licks, all the country stuff and the glissandos. It's all in my lessons. Hey guys, I'm Sean Cheek of webpianoteacher.com where we gather together to, to learn, play, and share the music that we love, creating a culture of encouragement for all you guys out there who are trying to learn to play the piano online. You can do it. You just need to pick the right lessons and you need to know how to practice. I'm going to show you how to do that on this song. So this is not a beginner lesson. It is uh, maybe a late intermediate, early advanced type lesson. So if you've played some stuff like this before, you probably can do it because it goes slower. The left hand doesn't do a whole lot, but it's got a lot of right hand cool stuff. I'm going to show you everything. It's Two, let's see, it's actually three pages full of stuff. Most things are about a page, so this is a lot of stuff in this. Listen to that YouTube video and you'll know everything we're going to do. Let's get to the lesson. All right, so um, if you are a member of webpianoteacher.com, you can download the sheets for this. I recommend that since there's a lot of them. I like to put it on a big TV screen and zoom it you know, in so I can look at the part I'm working on. And then you can zoom it out when you want to play sections. That's a really neat way to practice with the technology we have today. So if you are a member, you can download the sheet. Let's take a look, get to the board. He starts with a C chord, and it's just a straight quarter note count. G and C on the right hand. All right, so one, and count two is G, C, E. Count three is G, C, E, G. So it's one, two, three, one. It's actually counts two, three, and four. Two, these are pickup notes. So we have four counts in the measure, but when we start sometimes we'll have an incomplete measure that we call pickups into the first measure. So count one, two, three, four, glissando. On the glissando, watch how many times you do that because you can really rub the skin off your fingers there doing that too much, especially with the backs of your nails because you can't really keep your skin off with the keys doing that. And don't do it too much unless you would do it all the time and have calluses. You can also do it uh, this way. You can just use the, you can manage to to uh, use the other side of your hand. But it's two, three, four, one. All right? I'm not going to do it anymore because I don't want to rub the skin raw on my fingers. But two, three, four, one. At the end of the glissando is where this happens. One, one. So count one is the left hand F. Da, da, da. So count two is the F on the thumb. So one. Bum, bum, bum. So those are triplets, F, A, C, because this is kind of a triplet swing beat. We want a slow. So we have E, B, D, C, A, C, so da, da, da. I like to do a, uh, put a little turn, D, E flat, D. That's what I like to do, but I don't think he does that on this. If you want to, you can put that in there, but let's just do one, two. Okay, so F sharp there, F, F, F sharp, so F sharp, G there, right hand goes E flat, C, E flat. So Jerry Lee doesn't ever do too much in his left hand, he doesn't really need to most of the time because he's got his bass player, you know, playing, and you don't want get to in, get in the way of that, you want those right hand licks to be what um, uh, sparkles and shows up. But anyway, one, two, four. Don't rush that. Make sure you count it inside. One, two, three, four. And then the, here's the cool part. Tremolo. Okay, I'm going to show you a technique when we get into the lessons to make tremolos a lot easier for you because he does them all the time, and they're a really neat way to spice up your playing when you've run out of other things to do. Okay, but the tremolo is D sharp, E, C, two, one, five. We can do that, or we can also go have our thumb slide off. All right, but I'm going to show you a technique that you can use on these tremolos. It's really going to help you play them. We'll get that to that in lesson two on the website. But C, E, G in the left hand. Stretch them out. One, count two will be the E chord and then the A chord. 
So D sharp, E, C, and then the tremolo between E and C. Um, let's go from the beginning. One, two, three, four, one. Very good. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that lesson series. A couple of things on the website, uh, if you didn't notice. If you are a beginner, need beginner lessons, I have my all-new Easy Piano Lesson Series that I just did this year, designed for beginners, complete beginners to piano, or complete beginners to my method. Sometimes you need to kind of figure out, what am I doing with this board? How am I, you know, writing the chords and the, and the notes? You need to get used to that a little bit, get the learning curve there, and then, you can, then you're off to the races, you know? But if you're a complete beginner, those lessons are for you. There's 50, and I put all the PDF sheets in one PDF, so everyone who needs beginner lessons can just download one PDF, have all 50 sheets in one, and uh, you can get started uh, on, on uh, learning how to play today for my easy lessons. I also have our all-new series, our first master class. I got real people up here that are playing, and I'm teaching them. They're real beginners, no preparation. That We just throw them in, you know, and film their lesson. Uh, brave people, but uh, it's called I've Got Rhythm, and it's to help you learn to get your hands together. If you have trouble with rhythm, trouble getting your hands to coordinate playing together, it's a ry rhythm problem, okay? And I have exercises in that series, two and a half hours of content to help you get uh, to where you can put rhythm into your music. Check that out on webpianoteacher.com. Talk to you later, guys.